In this video I'm going to show you how to create mesh tasks within Sol. So first you need to create a new task group, you can do so by clicking the blue button in the top left. Give the task group a name, you can name this whatever you want, however I suggest doing it something where you'll remember that this is the mesh task group for if you have multiple groups in this left hand pane. And then select mesh as the site and click create group. Now that you've got a mesh task group you can click the task creator button to create some tasks. First select the site. There are four main types of site here, the foot patrol regions, hip store, the JD regions and then the size regions. Select the site and then you'll need to enter the product ID. Before a big release or before restocks we'll try to put product IDs in the discord for you to use. However if you need to retrieve them from the site yourself you can get them from the end of the URL. For JD and size there are eight numbers located at the end of the URL. So here for JD it's 12501112 and here for size it's 16041319. Whereas for foot patrol it's still in the same position however it's usually six digits followed by underscore foot patrol com. So for all three of these sites it's just these at the end of the URL. They're also located on the product page in the product info. Here on JD it's here as the product code. Here on size it's also here as the product code. And here on foot patrol it's here as the product code so for testing now i'm going to get one for jd just from the end of here and enter that into the product id section once you've entered the product id you can select the size choose random if you don't mind what size you get or choose the specific sizing here you can also select multiple sizes if you want a size range next is the checkout mode PayPal manual will cart the shoe and then open a PayPal browser for you to log in with PayPal and complete the checkout manually. PayPal auto checkout will make use of PayPal guest and try to check out with your card details from your billing profile automatically. If the PayPal auto checkout fails, it will fall back to PayPal manual and a browser will open for you to complete the checkout. Next is proxy list. This is simply what proxies you'll be using on this task. Choose no proxy, use localhost to use no proxy or choose the proxy list here. You'll have to have loaded proxies already into the proxies tab. If you don't know how to do so, watch the proxies video. Next is the billing profile. You can see the billing groups that you've created here and you can expand them to see the profiles within it. To create a task with each profile within a billing group, select all or select the specific profiles you desire. Next is scheduling. You can make use of scheduling if you like by ticking this on and then choosing the date and time you want the tasks to start. Or if you don't want to use it, leave it ticked off. Finally is quantity. Quantity is how many tasks you'll be creating. Remember that the quantity also takes into account the billing profiles you've selected. So for example, if I set the quantity to five and have five billing profiles selected, I'll be creating 25 tasks as I'll be creating five tasks for each billing profile. Once you've created tasks, to start them one by one, you can click the green button to the right of each task, or to start them all at once, click the green start all button. To edit an individual task, click the grey edit button to the right of the task. You can then change aspects such as a site and product ID within this task editor. If you want to edit all tasks, click the edit all button. This would be useful, for example, if you've entered the wrong product ID and want to correct all tasks at once. You can also delete a task by clicking the red trash icon to the right hand side of a task or clear all tasks within a task group by clicking the clear all button. You can also import and export this specific task group by using the import and export buttons. You can click the export button which will export all of these tasks as a file to your desktop and then within another copy of Sol, be that on another machine or a friend, they can import and import your file and have all your tasks show up. You can edit this name of the task group by clicking the white pencil icon at the top or you can delete the task group by clicking the red trash icon. You can also make use of the search function to search by product, proxy list or status. For example, I have three different sites with three different products here so I could narrow these down by searching for JD or searching for example by the product ID for size. You can also make use of the right click functions you can right click to start, stop, edit, duplicate or delete a task. You can also use the control button on your keyboard to select multiple tasks or also use your mouse to select multiple tasks. Once multiple tasks are selected, you can also start these three tasks, stop, edit, duplicate and delete. 
JD and size do not tend to require a capture, so you won't need a capture harvester for those, but for foot patrol you usually need a capture harvester. Head to the captures tab and open a normal V2 solver. I'll show a test on the tasks now. JD and size will generate cookies, load the sizes, add to cart, load payment, and then open PayPal windows. You'll then be able to check out within these PayPal windows as such. Now for foot patrol, we'll also generate the cookies, but then we'll wait for a capture. This is where we'll need the V2 solver so we can solve this capture. Then it will continue to add to cart and open the same PayPal window as it did for JD and size. There you can check out using your PayPal.